Okay, this is a fun little series. We call it the fire hydrant series. You can call it anything you'd like, but let's go with shoulder width apart. We're on the line. I'm going to test that rebound. Okay, we're good. Now, this is much more mobility for hips, right? So I'm going to hold here, and now my first move is going to bring that knee up, hold, and come down. Let's do that a few times. I'm on the right. When you hold, you're really going to feel the right side of your abs, the oblique, right? You should feel that crunch. Now, let's add to that. We're going to go up. I'm going to show you first. We're going to go up and then have a kick out. Back in and down. So, fire hydrant with a kick. Controlled. So, we're not looking to go as fast as we can. We're looking to add control. Now, our whole core is lit up because we're on a slack line. One more, out and down. Now, same side, still on the slack line. I'm going to bring that right leg straight out and then just pulse. I could have the foot pointing up, but I'm just pulsing that leg. Hold, hold, hold the line. Now, let's add donkey kick to it. So I'm going to bring the knee forward and then kick out in back. Kick out, up in front kick out. One more. Kick out. We might do those for 20 seconds per. Let's go to the other side. So now, test here. Left knee. Let's bring it up to the side and down. Ooh, you can feel those hip flexors working, right? Start to feel it in your abdominal muscles, especially on the side, that oblique. Here. Up and hold and down. You might challenge yourself to hold a little longer or work reps. Now let's add the kick out. What you may not be noticing, or you might, is the challenge of holding on the line. One more kick out, down. Now left leg goes straight back and then pulses. Either straight back or pulsing with the leg pointed up. Let's switch into donkey kick. Knee comes forward, goes back. Here and back. Let's get two more. One, two. Knees down and rest. That's the fire hydrant series. Nice.